crazy ass comedy. And we need it now. I mean, now that we have this terrorist shit, yep. we need something to go on and just really bring back the funny stuff. You know, let America laugh. You know, we've had so much shit. You know, stop watching CNN and all the bullshit. You know, it's gonna happen. Whether you're there or not, you have no control. Go out and have some fun with your family. You know, and your friends. Like, get fucked up. do this but now I gotta read oh this is in today's paper I fucking love this shit this is in today's paper where do you live? you live in Atlanta let me read to you from your paper let me read to you some news oh this, this fucking rocks page two of the what is it called? the issues issue section this is insane. This is where I fucking grew up, all right? You wanna know why I'm angry? All right, this is the kind of shit I had to deal with. Will you know people in heaven? This is in the newspaper. Will you know people in heaven? Okay. Yeah, for real. Listen to this fucking, this is, this, all right. Most Atlantans agree that in the afterlife, we will see and know people we knew on Earth. All right, here's the last fucking beautiful one. For real, quoted in the Atlanta Journal Constitution. The roadways in heaven are for walking and for vehicles. Yes, there are transportation vehicles in heaven driven by the angels. However, there is no pollution there. You can't buy beer on fucking Sunday after midnight. Jesus came back and told me about the roadways in heaven. It was very important that you know that angels drive vehicles on paved roads. Roads, paved, they have tar in heaven. They have tar in heaven. And angels drive the vehicles. What a fucking shit job is that? What kind of fucking... Who the fuck wants to be an angel then? Yeah, get in. Get in. I led a life of pure good. Now get in. I'll take you to the buffet. Jesus Christ. Yes. Not you. God damn it. Yes. No, not you either. Oh, fucking insane. That is insane, childish bullshit. God damn it. So, besides uh, religion, this is another pet peeve of mine. It kind of pales in comparison to that. But this is, and then I gotta go, this has been, this is ridiculous, sorry. Um, and so this is what I want to show you, and it's uh, from this company that hopefully will never get down here, although it's creeping ever southward. It's uh, up and down the east coast. It's called Cozy Zandow. Have you heard of these things? And it's just great. Hopefully everybody will read this. Uh, it says, what's for breakfast at Cozy? Bagel? I don't, I don't know. Um, I don't know. Is it is it a bagel? I don't know. I don't know what. It, it's just, see, it's a plain, unadorned bagel, small type. What's for breakfast at Cozy? I don't, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I would assume it's bagel. I don't know anything. I don't know. Is it bagel? I don't know. I'm, it's bagel. It's a bagel. Nah, dude. Not at Cozy. Not a bagel. Try Squaggles. Square bagels. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, square bagels. Fun. Man, it's hip to be square. 
there. Remember that fucking dumbass song from that dumbass group nobody gave a shit about 20 motherfucking years ago? Squiggles, square bagels. Finally, don't be oppressed by the tyranny of round, man. That's bullshit. Your generation has a new shaped bagel. Hey, old man, here's you eating your bagel. Hmm, drop, roll away. Boo-hoo, that's you, man. Here's my generation's bagel. Honk, fall right there. Don't roll away. Because we're smarter. So fuck you, old man. Squiggle! All right, guys, thanks very much. Thanks, you guys. Thanks.